So we'll go ahead and get started. Welcome everyone. Thank you all for joining us for today's chair yoga and mobility at for a taxia session. I'm Lori Shogren, Community Program and Services Director for the National Ataxia Foundation, and I'll be assisting with today's session along with a few of my colleagues here. Questions for the yoga instructor can be typed in the chat, and that's uh, found at the bottom of your screen. And I have a few other of the usual housekeeping notes before we get started. First of all, all attendees are muted, and we do ask that you please keep yourself muted throughout today's session to reduce any background noise. Also, as many of you know, some transmission issues can occur, so if you do happen to get disconnected, please try logging in again, and we certainly apologize for any transmission disruptions that may occur on our end. I also wanted to note to all of you that closed captioning is available for today's session. To enable the closed captioning, you just click on the closed captioning button and that's found at the bottom of your screen. And uh, then you click on, you select the show subtitles option. And now that our housekeeping notes are out of the way, I'm excited to welcome again, our amazing instructor, Natalie Marnica from Sacred Mount Mountain Yoga. Natalie is a certified yoga therapist with over 1,000 hours of training and 10 years of experience teaching. Welcome again, Natalie, to today's session. Thank you so much, Lori, and thank you everybody for coming. Uh, I love to see this. It's okay if you wanna keep your camera off, you can keep it on. If you wanna keep it on, feel free to do that. This is your time to practice. Um, so however you feel comfortable, um, you miss your choice. So. For those of you that are newer to yoga or maybe movement in general like this, um, I'll give you things like breathing and moving together. I might ask you to inhale or exhale at specific times. Um, don't worry if you can't follow that exactly because you're learning a new skill, how to breathe and move together. And we're all at different levels of abilities. So take your time in in experiencing your movement more as an exploration than um, a to-do list. If I take my arm to a certain height and your arm doesn't reach to that height, don't fret. You're gonna pause in any ranges that are available to you. What we don't wanna have happen is that you're stressing or straining the body more than it needs to. So allow yourselves as much as you can to move in your pain-free range of motion where there is existing pain, maybe chronic issues, maybe old injuries, I invite you to move in a way that doesn't increase that sensation. And if at any time you need a break, take a break. If at any time you're taking a break and you want to do your own movement, feel free to take that time. I'm going to guide you through a practice uh, today that's from your fingertips all the way up to your head, down to your toes. For those that are able to do a few minutes of standing, I will offer a few standing postures for you today. That was my promise. How many of you had recommended that last time? I know we had a, we had a, a big uh, request for it. So this is fulfilling your request to do some more sit and stand work. And fret not if you can't stand today, you're unable to, because I'm gonna give all the variations in the chair first as well. Okay, so for those of you getting ready, I want you just to do a little bit of housekeeping around your space. Make sure there's nothing where your feet are so you can move the feet left and right to your side. And then there's nothing obstructing your arms. So however long your arms move, just make sure they have space. Good, and give me a thumbs up if your camera's on that you have your space set up. <laughs> Yay, good. If you have any questions or anything comes up for you uh, during the practice, like Lori said, type it in the chat. We'll get to all of the questions or as much questions as we can towards the end of the session. Expect that we'll be doing the next 40 minutes or so of physical movement and then some relaxation. So I want you to start by repositioning yourself in your seat. So for whatever type of chair you're on, if you're on a bit of a softer chair, like a couch, I want you to make sure that you have um, a pillow or something that lets your spine sit upright. It may even be able, helpful to sit on a blanket. If you're in a more solid chair, like the one I'm in, or you're in a dining chair, just make sure both feet are flat on the ground. It's not gonna roll. And if you're using a wheelchair, make sure that your wheels are locked so that you're not gonna wheel and uh, roll around. 
Perfect. And then set up your legs so that they're a little bit wider than your waist. You're going to go for about shoulder width apart feet. Good. Okay. And then once you have that set up, I want you to take a breath in and just feel your body lift. Okay. Now you can let your exhale come out of your mouth for now. Exhale as slow as you can. Okay, and we're going to start just here, focusing on breath in and out of the body. As you inhale, sit up tall. Imagine I was lifting your head up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, relax the shoulders. Slow breath out. And then just feel that ease coming down into your seat. Okay, three more times. Breathe in. Good, and then breathe it out. Very good. Breathe in, focusing on the present moment experience that you're having. And then as you exhale, let go of your day so far. Whatever stuff is on your mind, maybe some items of attention, let that fall into the back of the mind for now. Again, breathe into the present moment. Just feel how your body expands. That's it. And then exhale again. Let go of the day, all the outside activities. For now, this is your time. That's it. To work and be with your body. On your next inhale, I want you to experiment with lifting your shoulders. And then as you exhale, just drop them. Okay, so these are big shrugs. On your inhale, raise the shoulders. And then exhale, drop it. That's it, perfect. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, raise them, shoulders go to the ears. And then exhale, we drop them. Very good, again, inhale, raise them up to your ears. And then exhale, drop them. So we're going to move from the more simple movements to more complex movements. Now, if you were able to do that, that's wonderful. Inhale, lift them again. Now, this time as you exhale, move them back and then roll them down. You're going to make these rolls now. Go up on your breath in. Move them back and then exhale, slide them down. Perfect. Go up. Go back and then exhale, bring them down. Good. Now take your dominant hand, whichever hand you use the most, and bring it up in front of you. With your dominant hand, I want you to close your hand into a tight fist, and then exhale, open it up. Good. Inhale, close the hand, make it into a fist, and then exhale, open it up. So you're training the ability to breathe and move at the same time. Inhale, make a fist. And then exhale, open it. Good. Now this time as you inhale, make the fist. This time hold the fist and start to circle. Can you make a circle with your wrist? And that's okay, let your breath be free. You're just gonna check. Can my wrist make a circle today? Good. Keep going in the same direction and then reverse, go the other way. Good. Four. Three, two, one. And then if you can, can you shake this hand? Can you just shake it? That's it. Let it move. Move all your fingers. Beautiful. Then once you have that hand, you've shaken it out a little bit. Can you stretch it over to your side so that your elbow gets long? Very good. Then once it's out, you can open your fingers. As you inhale, can you tap hand towards your body? And then exhale, can you reach your arm away? Very good. As you inhale, can you bring the hand towards you? And then exhale, reach the arm away. Very good. Inhale, hand towards the shoulder. Exhale, hand towards the wall. Like you're going to reach out to the wall. Now, once the hand is out there, this time again, I want you to create that fist. Okay, we've already practiced a few times. Now, once you've created that fist, as you inhale, can you squeeze? 
Can you contract your muscles as the hand comes to your body? And then exhale, reach it to the wall. That's it. If you need to use the wall as a landmark, use it as a landmark. Make a fist when you're ready. Take a breath in. See if you can contract and curl your bicep. Good. And then once you reach there, exhale, spring it off. Reach it to the wall. And if your arm gets tired, take a break. Make a fist. Inhale, squeeze. Tighten. And then exhale away. Very good. And do one more like that. Inhale, squeeze. Tighten and clench your fists. Good. And then exhale, reach away. And then as that arm reaches away, relax it. Roll your shoulder up. Go back, slide down. Go up, go back and down. One more, relax it. Up, back and down. Very good. And then let your dominant hand take a little break. Take your non-dominant hand if you have access to it and bring it up. If you don't, you can use the other side. Good, and then start with closing. Can you close the hand into a fist? Inhale. And then when you're ready to exhale, can you open it? So this might be a little faster or a little slower. Just work at your own speed. We'll do a couple more. Inhale, make a fist. Good, and then exhale, open the fist. Good. That's it. Inhale, make a fist. Start to pay attention to your breath and the movement. Exhale, open it up. Let everything else go. You're retraining your focus and your attention. Inhale, make the fist. And then exhale, open it. Okay. Now this time you're going to make a gentle fist. And then start to circle your wrist. Let your breath just come in and out freely. Check this side out. How does your wrist move on this side? Can you move it into a circular pattern? Good. Can it go the other way? That's it. Again, this is an exploration of your movement. So anytime you need to take a break or change the movement to suit your body, you're feel free to do that. Good. And then you're going to take this arm and you're going to stretch it away from you. Okay. So easiest version first. On the inhale, can you make a bend? Tap, and then exhale, stretch and reach. Feel like you were gonna touch the wall beside you. Inhale, make a bend. Good, and then exhale, reach like you were gonna touch the wall beside you. <laughs> Inhale, make the bend. And then exhale, reach for the wall. Feel if you can stretch the arm. Now, if it's still suitable for you, make a fist on this side. As you inhale, clench, try to squeeze and curl up your bicep. And then exhale, extend the arm. Beautiful, good. Inhale, make the fist. Can you squeeze? Can you tighten, tighten, tighten? And then exhale, stretch it away. Beautiful, couple more repetitions. Inhale, make the fist. Bring it towards your body, very good. Exhale, away from your body, perfect. Inhale, clench, bring a squeeze. Good, can you make yourself look like Arnold Schwarzenegger on one side, good, that's it. And then stretch it away, wonderful, good. And then inhale, do one more, make a fist, tighten, 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 squeeze, good. And then exhale, stretch it off. And then once it comes down, float it down. Can you roll it a couple of times? Can you let any tension go out of that shoulder? Three, two, one, perfect. And then let both hands just have a little break. Okay, take a full breath in. And then let it out. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit more movement through the arms. So this is if you have if you have uh, any restrictions in your shoulders where I want you to be careful with you're only going to extend as much as you can without letting your face contort or your body become uh, pained. Take one arm as you inhale, reach and extend up. Find your pain-free range up. Okay, good. Now, can you hold your breath for a second or two? And then as you exhale, bring the hand back down. Perfect. And then we'll try the other side. Inhale, reach. Hold the breath in. And then exhale, float down. Good, two more on each. Inhale, arm goes up, looks great. Full breath and hold. 
and then exhale your arm back down. Good, perfect. Again, inhale, arm up. Good. And then exhale the arm down. Perfect. One more on each side and we're gonna make it a bit bigger. Inhale up. If you can, start to push your feet against the floor. Can you do two things at once? Can you push the ground away as your arm reaches? And then exhale, float down. That's gonna take another level of awareness in your body. So experiment with that. Press the legs down as you inhale, reach. So you're maximizing breath. You're trying to energize from your foot to your fingers. Very good. And then exhale, pull it back down. Okay, now we're gonna stay on one side. So take your opposite arm, inhale, reach and expand it. Good, now this time as you exhale, I want you to aim your thumb towards the screen like you were gonna to touch me with it. And then reach the arm back, avoid your arm rest if you have it and try stretching back behind you. Inhale, the arm comes up, turn the palm inwards. Stay on the same side, good. And then exhale, reach your thumb forward like you're gonna outstretch it, pull back and reach to the wall behind you. Beautiful. Inhale upwards. Very good, maximize your breath in and then exhale, move slowly down. And back. Good, been doing three more. Inhale, go up. Now this time hold at the top on the exhale, turn your hand away. Now try to reach it back as you circle down. Good, again, same side, inhale up. Even if your hand isn't straight, it can be bent and then turn the hand back, reach it, circle back. That's it, try to get movement in your shoulder, make a circle, go up, take a breath in. Turn the palm, good, circle back, relax it down. Beautiful, now with the same hand, inhale, reach it back, go up and then exhale it in front. Very good, create more space if you need it, inhale back, up and then exhale down in front. Perfect, go back on the inhale, go up, and then exhale down in front. Good, and then once it's down, roll the shoulder a little bit. Okay, we did a lot on one side. Okay, we do the same thing on the other arm. If you have access, remember it might not be the same, so don't force, be easy with the body as you breathe and reach up. Good, now on the exhale, thumb is gonna aim to the screen or aim towards me. You're gonna reach it back and then extend as far back behind you as it'll go. Inhale to rise. Very good. And then exhale to reach the thumb forward, stretch it back. That's it. As far as it'll go without painting. Inhale up. That's it, full breath in. And then exhale slow, press forward. Feel like you were sweeping that arm back behind. Good, the next one we're gonna start our circle. Inhale up. Good, now once you hit your full height, turn the palm. Can you reach back like you were gonna touch the wall behind you and bring it down? Good, inhale upwards, palm turns and then reach back and bring it down. Good, inhale up towards ceiling, turn, reach, exhale, relax it down. Good, now can you do the other way? Inhale back, up, and then exhale in front. Perfect, two more. Go back, breathe in, go up, and then exhale in front. Good, one more if you have the strength. Back in space, up in space, and then exhale down. Good, and then give that shoulder a little roll out. Okay, now we're gonna play with more extending of your spine. So I'm gonna pivot a little just so you could see the angle more clearly in your screen. From here, I want you to take a breath in and open up your arms. Imagine you were sticking your chest out to the front of the room. That's it, so it's a big, wide, heart-opening movement. And then as you exhale, I want you to take your palms, press them forward so they're not interlaced, just reaching, and then push away the screen. So imagine you're pushing somebody away from you. Curl your back muscles. Good, now inhale, open. 
Can you guide your elbows back? Can you give them a little squeeze? So that each more, each time you're getting a little wider and then exhale, can you curl your back? Feel the lower belly come in. Can you round your back like a cave and then push the arms? Good, that's it. Inhale, create the opening. So again, soften the shoulders a little bit. Good, and then this time again on the exhale, we're gonna press out. So I'm pressing my palms, I don't have them together. I'm just reaching them out in front. Good, okay, we're gonna do another variation of this. Inhale, expand. This time, make a little bit more of a bend in your elbows and try to feel like your elbows were gonna come together behind your body. Good, and then on your exhale, this time, take your palms, let them touch. Cross your thumbs and then shoot and round. So you're actually pressing the palms to into one another. Good. Again, inhale, move forward. If you have to make it a smaller movement, the arms don't have to touch. You just move your chest forward and back. And then when you're ready to breathe out, you're practicing caving. Can you empty your lungs? Can you push into your feet? Can you round your back? Wonderful. Two more. Open. Good, if the arms get tired, give yourself a break. And then exhale, close. Good, one more time, open. Good, and then exhale, close it up. Push into your hands, wonderful. And then inhale, can you reach up towards the ceiling? Good, that's reach it. Now on the exhale, can you slide your shoulder blades down your back? So you're gonna feel like your elbows were coming into your side pockets. Good, inhale, reach upwards, palms face in. Good, and then exhale, bring it down. Five, four, three, two, give them a squeeze. Very good, three more, inhale upwards. Big breath in, good, exhale, down. Five, four, three, good, two, squeeze them together at the end. Inhale upwards, big stretch. Good, it's okay if the arms are tired, you give them a break. Five, four, heat might be building. Three, two, one. Last time like that. Go up, breathe in. Good, and then exhale, five four, three, two, one, land on your legs. And then just give a couple rocks. Just be easy. Maybe you roll forward, maybe you rock back. Okay, that's wonderful. Good. And now we're gonna practice moving from our hip joint. So if you're in a seat that allows you just to rest the hands on your legs, bring them down, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lean forward so that your back stays long, but you're kind of coming forward so your belly is coming into that hole you've created in between your thighs. Good. And then use your hands. Can you use your hands to push on the legs? Inhale. Good. And then exhale. That's it. Lean forward. Get really long. So I'm stretching from my low back to my crown. If you're here and you're curled in, try stretching your body forward. See if you can be long. Good, and then push into your hands, use them with some strength, press up. Good, three more press ups, inhale, exhale, lower. That's it, hands on your thighs and then push, like you're doing a mini push up, press up, back to standing, good. Again, inhale, exhale, lean, lean, lean. Okay, and then use the hands, feel the contact of hand to your leg, push, push, push. Rise up, good. And then take one leg out when you're ready and you inhale, slide it forward. So this is the easiest variation is just to drag the foot against the ground. And then as you exhale, drag it back. Again, we're gonna go from the simplest to more complex, inhale, extend out. So you can stay here as long as you need to. If you can do a little bit more today, you can practice that on your own, inhale, kick. First, we start with basics, exhale, bring back. We're gonna prepare for a couple standing poses today. Inhale out and then exhale in. Good, inhale away and then exhale back in. Inhale out and then exhale back in. Okay, perfect. Now you could stay in that variation if you have a little bit more strength, 
we want you to take your hands and support it at the side of your chair, roll the shoulders back, lift up through the heart. Now this might not be accessible for you. You can keep your hands to heart or on the legs. I want you to start to inhale for a moment, kick one leg out, try to keep the spine upright. Good, and then exhale, bring it back. Good. So if you've noticed, push the bottom leg to the floor, inhale, press out through one foot at a time and exhale, bring it back. So if this is too difficult, you can go back to the slides, okay? Kick on the inhale, try to keep the torso upright and then exhale it back down. Inhale, kick. And then exhale, pull the heel back, bring it to the floor. Inhale away. And then exhale back and it comes towards the body. Inhale out. Good. And then exhale, heel comes back, bring it slowly back in space. Good. One more on each side. Kick out. Good, and then exhale, bring it back. We lower it down and then switch, inhale out. And then exhale, pull back, bring it down. Wonderful. Release your arms as you inhale, reach them up. Beautiful work. And then exhale, take them down through the heart. They're gonna land again on the legs into that little midi push-up position. Good. Push into the legs as you inhale, fire your back up, lift up. This time, reach for your knees and start to slouch and round as you exhale. So you're gonna curl your spine like a cave. Good, and then inhale, open up the arms, relax your shoulders. See if you can get really wide across the front of your body and then exhale back to your center. Perfect. And then from your center, you're gonna stay here with the arms and then start to heel toe your legs wider. So you're going to play around and your hands, if it's uncomfortable here, you can drop them to your legs and then start to walk them in. So foot, heel, foot, heel. I'm going to prepare. That's it. Heel, toe, heel, toe. And just check. Can my legs move this way? Maybe it's one side and that's fine too. You're going to feel that out. Heel, toe, heel, toe, and then heel, toe. Good. Heel, toe. Create the opening. Wonderful. Toe, heel, toe, heel. And now you're in center. If you're capable, hands can support if you need to. If this leg has some motion, lift your heel. Good. Flex your foot. Try lifting the whole leg. So maybe you're on the ball of foot. Maybe you're able to lift. If you can lift, can you go out to the side and down? Can you come up and back together? Stay with the same leg. Go up, go out to the side and down and then up, back to center. Good, so even if you're on your heel, you can let the knee go in and out. If you're able to lift, you lift, maybe with or without your hands to support. Tap, go up, and then close it out. Try your other side, so maybe just the heel lifts and the knee opens, you can check into the hip. If that's comfortable for you, you can try lifting, go up, out to the side and tap down, and then up back to center and in. Use assistance with the arms if you need to, just start to feel that motion. For those of you that may have practiced other forms of yoga, today we're gonna to work towards what's called a warrior two position. I'm gonna do that in the chair and also standing for those that can. So we're preparing the hips to do a little bit more motion, okay? Then you're gonna take a big sumo stance, go to one side, ha. Go to the other side, ha, that's it. And keep the opening. This is gonna be the next reference point for all the other movements. So from here, I want you to take your hands and bring them behind your thigh bones. Yeah, so just behind your legs. You're gonna be right in the middle of your thighs. Start by pushing your heels and the middle of your foot towards the floor. So push downwards, feel what happens in your legs. And then if you can push your legs into your hands and just start to feel, let the back of the body start to grip, let the muscles in your glutes turn on, your hamstrings turn on, the outer edges of your legs, and then take another breath. And then as you exhale, relax. Perfect, good, again like that. Inhale, push down. Hold here on the exhale, press into your heels and press your legs into your hands. Let the back of the legs start to grip. Wake them up. Good. And then bring it down. Very good. One more time like that. Press downwards. 
push into your legs. Now take three breaths here. Can you keep the legs energized and breathe in and out? Can you keep pushing the upper legs into your hands? That's it. One more breath in and one more breath out. Okay. So for those of you that are staying sitting, you're going to stay like this. For those that are going to use the chair to do some more standing work, you're going to take your legs in one at a time, shift the weight forward, and then slowly come upwards. So if you're using a wall for support wall, and then you're going to use the chair as support. If you're in a space where you have a wall behind you, that's great too. You're going to use this chair though with your hands and then widen your legs. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate both. So you're going to make your way up to here if you're standing. If you're sitting, you're here. Okay, I'm going to come back and forth. So whatever position you're in, we're going to work together. Okay, if you're in the standing position from here and the sitting position, inhale, reach one arm up. So we all can reach an arm up. Good. Now that arm that reaches up, I want you to reach it to the opposite side of the room. Feel your legs, ground them to the floor and really stretch to the side wall. Good. Inhale up. So everybody can do this. Either you're sitting or standing, you can reach. And then exhale, lean and stretch to the side. And just start to feel the balance, the awareness of where your body is in space. That might change. So use that bottom hand as always as your anchor. Inhale up. And then exhale, reach, okay? Side bending is really good to decompress the lower back to get the motion through the side body. Good ease if you have low back pain. On the inhale, climb up. And then exhale, lower that arm down. Good, and we could roll the shoulder if you choose. Good, and then we'll try the other side. So the other side opens up, inhale if you have the reach. If you're standing, really press into your feet, stay strong, and then exhale, body bends to the side. So even if you're sitting, you're in the side bend with us. Good. On the inhale, reach upwards. Feel your body come to center. And then again, reassess your legs. Press them to the floor, evenly press to the right and left side foot. Try to stretch and open up to your side. Good. Inhale, back up through center. And then exhale, reach and extend to the side. Okay, good. And then inhale, climb back up. Exhale, the arm down. Okay, now for those that are in standing, um, turn one of your feet to face the other direction. So I just turned one foot so it points away from me. If you're in the chair, you're gonna extend one leg out. So if I'm sitting, I look like this. If I'm standing, I look like this. My front toe is pointed. My back leg is down, okay? Take a breath in if you're standing. On the exhale, try bending your front hip and knee. Good, and you can bounce a little. You can come up and you can come down. Start to feel the opening in the hip. I'm gonna come a little closer just so you can see without the chair in front of me. If you're in the chair here, you're still here. You're not bouncing as much, but you're extending through the legs and you're creating this opening in your pelvis and your hips. Perfect. And then the arm positions are going to be the same. So now for the standing folks, take a bend and then just hold at whatever level you're able to hold. So maybe that's hip and knee in one line, maybe it's higher. Root your back leg and then with your rear arm, bring your hand to your heart or off to the side. If you're sitting, you're going to have either hands to the heart or hands to the side. So you're in the same shape. We're in a warrior two, shoulders off the ears, stretch and reach the arms. Now to play with your balance a little bit, for those that have a little bit more stability in this, you can try alternating from your back arm coming in to your front arm going out. Hold and breathe for a few moments. If you're in your chair, you can have both arms outstretched and take your shoulders off your ears. If you wanna challenge your balance and try lifting a hand, you could lift and lower a hand a little bit here. Some of you I know have good balance and you're welcome to explore if you wanna take a full warrior two where your arms are outstretched and you're deep in your leg, breathe in, breathe out. Hold as long as you need to, breathe in, breathe out. Remember safety first, we're establishing the balance. Inhale and exhale. Then hands come to the chair. If you're standing, straighten your front leg and then turn your toes back to where you started. If you're sitting, 
Take your outstretched leg, bring it back to where you started. Take a breath in, let your breath out. Good. Sitting folks, you're going to extend the opposite leg out. Standing folks, you're going to turn your opposite foot away. Good. That's it. You're going to feel that. Now, the hips are going to be different. So take a couple bounces if you're up at the standing position. Have a test to see where your depth is, where your balance is on the side. If you need to make your stance closer, make it closer. If you need to make it longer, make it longer. However you feel stable, okay? Hand stays down. Now inhale, one hand to heart. If you're sitting, you can extend both arms out right away. You can open up the front chest. Good, that's it. And then if you're comfortable here in standing, reach one arm out in front, take your shoulder down, deep bend in front knee. Take a breath in, let your breath out. If you want to experiment with having the alternating arm, you can feel what happens when you reach your arm back, like you were going to touch the wall. Maybe you start to hover and play with your little bit of stability and balance. If you're a little bit more comfortable and you want to extend both arms and challenge your balance, you can. Just make sure you're safe. You know your surroundings better than I do. So again, hand can be always assisted on the chair for three. Good work. For two. And then one, slowly straighten the leg. That's it, bring the hands to center. Turn your toes forward. Okay, beautiful. Now all together, we're gonna heel toe our legs in. We're gonna start to crawl our legs back and do a little bit of marching. Hold the chair if you're standing. If you're sitting, you're gonna just do a little bit of marching in the chair. Okay, this is gonna be our last pose standing for us that are up. So. Focus one spot that's not moving. Feet are narrowed. If you're sitting, you do the exact same thing except without standing. When you're ready to inhale, grip your chair with both hands. Focus one spot that doesn't move. On the inhale, lift your heels. Good. And then on the exhale, lower your heels. And then I want you to pretend that you had a seat behind you and just take a little seat. You're going to hold this chair as long as you need to. Very good. And then push into the floor. Inhale, come up, lift your heels up. So you're starting to feel the balls of the feet, your balance is uh, between them. Your heels are fired up off the ground. And then exhale, lower the heels, hip hinge back. See if you can squat down like there's a seat. Very good. That's it. Inhale, rise. So if you're sitting, you're lifting your heels. You can even lift your arms up at the same time if you choose. And then exhale, lower it down and then feel like there's an imaginary chair behind you. Last one, go up, feel, now hold it if you can. So if you need to lower your heels, lower them. If you're able to lift them, lift them. Keep your eyes fixated. If you're a little bit more balanced and you wanna try playing with the balance, you can try lifting one hand or lifting the other hand. If you're sitting, you can lift both heels and bring your hands to your heart or up to the ceiling. Good, three, two, and then slowly come down. That's it. And once you come down, you're gonna do a little march. And then once you do your march, you're gonna come back to your seat. So carefully make your way back. We're gonna meet our sitting folks back onto the chair safely, securely, and then maybe even shake our legs depending on how they feel. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, we're almost at cool down. Congratulations on getting through standing series. This will be our first sit and stand. So I'm really excited that you all are here for that today. But now we'll cool a little bit. Okay, so legs can be wide or narrow, just get comfortable. On the inhale, reach and extend up. Good, on the exhale, bring the hands down. Lean forward, take the hands to your upper legs, and then we're gonna do a little bow. So head can stay straight. If you have high or low blood pressure, keep the head up above the heart. If you're very comfortable here with no issues in your blood pressure, you can drop your neck and head down. Good. Inhale here. And exhale here. That's it, just feel it stretch a little bit, inhale. And exhale. Good. And now inhale, lift your heart up halfway. On the exhale, take one leg and just give a little stretch out. I'm going to turn a little bit so this is clearer. 
So one leg is stretched, one leg is bent. You're going to lean towards it. You're going to have a sense to what does this long leg feel like? Where's the tightness? Maybe inhale opposite arm up. So you can play with a little cross action. Exhale, reach to the opposite side. You can inhale, come back up. Once you meet the end range of motion, you can exhale right through center, maybe even dragging the hands down the legs. I want you just to kind of explore what it's like to lean into the stretch here. This knee can be as bent or as straight as you feel necessary. Now you're gonna notice what you feel. I'm up halfway to show the modification. If you were very comfortable here, you could go all the way. You can even hang your arms a little bit, maybe even hang your head a little bit but it's not necessary. You're gonna to go to find the stretch behind the leg and get into a position where your heart rate will slow down. Breathe in and then slowly breathe out. Breathe in and slowly breathe out. Good, inhale. And exhale. Good. And if you're all the way to the ground, inhale up to one of your knees first. And then we'll all press up towards center. Good. And then we'll drag that foot back, maybe even stomp it off. Try the other side. So leg extends out. Yep. Bent or straight. You could play around with the spacing. Inhale, opposite arm, maybe starts. And then exhale, reach. So reach from opposite hand to foot. Anywhere along the leg is fine. Inhale up and then exhale, maybe drag through center. So this is where you try to explore. What's it like to lean onto this leg? Do you have more or less movement available to you? Do you wanna stay supported up onto your knees? Do you wanna float the neck and head down? Do you want your arms to hang or be lifted? By now you should get a sense of how your body's feeling in this moment and make those little adjustments that you can still breathe at ease. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through your nose or your mouth. Good. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose or your mouth. Good, again, in and out. Just bring ease. Let the back of the leg stretch. To come out of it, hands up to your leg first. That's it. So you lift like a little unit. Trunk comes up and then exhale, the leg comes back. Perfect, good. And then inhale, open up both arms. Allow your chest to move forward. Good. And then as you exhale, good. Round your back. Give yourself a little hug. Can you cross one arm on top of the other? And you kind of pull yourself forward. That's it. Let it be a little slouchy. Inhale, create opening. Maybe even squeeze your shoulder blades together slightly behind you. And then exhale the opposite arm on top. Pull forward. That's it. And round. Good. Inhale to create the opening. Good. And then exhale. You're going to bring your palms just into the center. Very good. Inhale here. And exhale here. Okay. Now I want you to let your body shift all the way back. So you're going to come back in a way that you could let your spine and your legs relax. Maybe even move the ankles a little bit. Good. And today for our breathing and our relaxation, we're gonna continue with our sounding. So if, you, if this isn't your first class with us, you know that we like to make sounds and vibrate the throat and work on the muscles that are responsible for swallowing and breathing, okay? So if you're in a space that lets you make sound, make sound. If you're in a space where you can't make sound today, you're gonna to mentally make that sound. Just do it in your head. It's still, it's gonna, still gonna have a beneficial effect, just not the same as if you were gonna actually vibrate and move your throat. So the sounds we're going to use today are haram, H-A-R-M, harim, H-R-I-M, and harum, H-R-U-M, okay? And we're going to chant them out one sound after another, three of each, okay? 
So take a breath in, let your body fill. Now exhale, just regularly let it all out. That's it. And let that first settling of your body start to come over you. Relax the eyes, inhale through the nose. Now first sound, haram, exhale. Haram. As long and slow as you can, then let the inhale happen. Same sound on the exhale, force it out. Beautiful. One more like that. Breathe in. Exhale it out. Beautiful. Inhale. Now just exhale completely. Feel that first set of vibrations move through the body. The next sound is harim, H-R-I-M. The mouth is gonna move to the side. You'll feel the difference. Inhale. Exhale, Hari. Very good, inhale. And exhale, Hari. Beautiful. One more. Feel the breath come into your body. Make the sound when you're ready to exhale. Hari. Beautiful. Take that breath in. Then relax as you breathe out. Whew. Okay, that's it. Last three. Sound is harum. And then we're going to relax in that chair. Inhale. Exhale. Harum. Inhale. Great job. Exhale. That's it. Narrow the face. Haru. One more. Inhale. And let it all out. Haru. Good. And then let your natural breath come in. Just feel that first full breath. And then as slow as you can, breathe it out. Let your arms, your legs, your neck, and your head drop down. Just ease your body now. All the work you did, start to let it relax. Inhale. And then exhale, let it all go. Drop the arms, drop the legs. Let the back of your body really sink into the chair. Inhale. And then exhale as slow as you can. Let your body, let your breath, let everything start to ease up. And continue just to breathe like that at your own pace for the next minute. With each exhale, bringing ease and rest into your body. Let the weight of your ankles and your knees drop down, your thighs and your hips. Relax the shoulders down through your elbows, down to the wrists and the palms. Relax along your spine, along the back side of the body. That's it. And for a few long breaths out, just bring softness to your body, softness to your face. Letting the thoughts just come in and out like clouds moving through a sky. 
take a few moments here and let everything relax. It's beautiful. And then carefully bring your palms together. And once they meet, I want you just to rub them a little bit. Just build a little friction, little warmth between your hands. And once they feel nice and warm, just cover over your eyes. I want you to block the screen for a moment and let your face relax in your hands. When it's dark, the eyes can close. Relax your jaw, relax your cheeks. And then carefully open the eyes up in the palms and take the hands just gently into the center of your chest. Very good, inhale here. And as you exhale, bow to your own effort. Thank yourselves for showing up today. And thank your body for everything it was able to do. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste. Good job, everyone. I'm going to come and sneak peek and see how you're feeling. Good. How are you feeling? Good. That was hard. great, Natalie. Really felt yeah. the stretches and the relaxation. Yeah, that was great. So, how was the first sit and stand? You like the combo? Yeah, we got lots of thumbs up. Okay. Your wish is my command. So, for next one, let me know if you want to continue sit and stand. We will definitely be able to do that. Uh, Lori has all the contact. Is there any questions that came in? We don't have any questions yet. Um, Angela uh, says, so excellent. Please have often. Yay. Awesome. And then, uh, yes, and Lori, you're going to post these, right, at the on the YouTube page? Uh, yes. Yes, we will. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So if you have requests, send them to Lori. She will send them to me. And I see some familiar faces. So Hello, some of you I get to see on a more regular basis. So it's nice to see you here. Hi. Yeah, and as always, take your time learning how to breathe and move. It's not as intuitive as it might seem. Sometimes you're like, when should I inhale? When should I exhale? As long as you're breathing as smooth and steady as you can for the day, that's the most that you can do. It's the best thing you can do for your body and your nervous system. So if there's, th you're very welcome. Thank you, everybody for being here. Um, and again, if you have requests, please direct them over to Lori. She is our coordinator. She will make sure that I get all the messages. Absolutely. Where can I do these? Catherine, you can do these. Uh, these are all gonna be posted on the NAF YouTube page. And so we got, we're gonna have a lot of resources of you on YouTube for that as well. And you can replay them. You can redo these videos as well. And it was great. What can be done about coldness in your legs? You can try, if it's because of lack of circulation, I'm not sure why the legs are cold, but you can try uh, using like a, like heating up a towel for a few minutes in a, in a dryer and then letting it sit on your lap as you're warming up. It's hard with circulation issues if you're not, um, and then any particular exercise for the core, we can do uh, in our next class, we can definitely concentrate a few minutes on the core for you. I think it's Sapna. Did I say your name right? Yeah, thank you. So coldness in the legs, you can use uh, heat packs, things you can put under your feet that will warm. Um, also, if you have movement available in your legs, then I would say a little bit more vigorous leg extensions going in and out, maybe ankle movements and get the circulation going.
because we are sitting and it's going this way. So even things that laying down on your back, knees to your chest, extending in and out um, would be helpful for that. <laughs> I saw it fell asleep for a minute. Good. I'm glad relaxation went well. Good. Awesome. Wonderful. All right. I got to take off and teach another chair yoga class across city. So I'm going to go and hustle in my car, but thank you so much, Lori. Again, thank you so much for showing up, share this with your friends and your family, whoever needs it. Um, and I'll be here again next month for you. Sounds great. Thanks so much again, Natalie. Thanks everyone for joining. Bye. Bye.